Sarah Williamson. I'm a representative of the voluntary organisation Parents of Children with Special Needs, who give voice to, speak for and represent thousands of parents and children all over this country to fight for what are the basic rights of any child, regardless of what their diagnosis is, to have comfort and support in their education setting of choice. I'm this, I am this evening joined by Declan Conboy, Principal of Vocational School Carrigallan, Anne Pollock, Parents Association of Carrigallan Vocational School. I requested another parent to speak with me this evening, but all the hundreds of messages of support of what we're doing here this evening, but some of them had no voice to stand up here and tell their story, and I am doing that for them. Nelson Mandela, there can be no keener revolution of a, of a society's soul than the way it treats its children. The Minister Rory Quinn just bombed the cuts on us last week. Fallout shock and horror, without thinking or thought for the pain it caused us and continues to do so. A summer of unknown waiting. For what to give, for what to save a few quid. It doesn't take a genius to work that out. SNA is no job, on the dole, claiming for their family, send special needs children to a pilot special school section in a mainstream school, traveling 40 miles around trip, children away from peers, relationships, grounding already in place. No rocket science to work out the cost of that to the government. We are fed up being the fall guys, guinea pigs and test ground, respite cuts, carers allowance, service cuts, and now educational cuts. SNA cuts to support our children in the basic rights of an education. We are fed up for six years of cuts, caps, destroying our children's lives and their future. We've had enough. Time to say no, no, no more to this, no more Mr. Pishuk, no more Mr. Minister. We have driven the we have drawn a line here in the sand. You can't cross that, and we mean business. <laughs> Rory Quinn yesterday, under people and political pressure, came out suddenly with a statement around reversal that a re reversal of resource hours announced of cuts last week. This left the general public in to total confusion and people believed all is sorted. I had hundreds of text messages, Facebook messages, people asking me, was this protest off? This protest is not off. Don't be fooled by this. Read between the lines. This affects every child in the school system. Proposals, read between Rory's lines. Proposals of pupil te teacher ratio, bigger classes perhaps. Some cuts may have been reversed or reversed, However, several other cuts have not been reversed. The 50% reduction in resource hours at school has not been reversed. There is still a cap on our special needs assistance at 2000, despite um, the Department of Education having the figures and needs of all those children, and needs of all those children coming up in the education center, the system. And there is a growing amount of children presented with needs every year, and this has not changed. This must be immediately lifted and, and given clarity to the, the public. Resource hours are for any child's need a support as, of a subject. Yes, there is a, an assessment process. This is given by a resource teacher using one-to-one -one or in a small group setting. This has nothing got to do with SNAs, special needs assistants, who are a support to our children in their school setting and do a wonderful job for little pay. Um, being the security to the parents, the child, and a great support to the teachers as well. And I go back to my own example that I've given on the radio today, it's in, in our local press. My daughter Lauren, she's here, moving around you there, I've been very um, confident and vocal in herself. Lauren is a first year student, has completed her first year in Carrigallan Vocational School. She's had a fantastic transition 
the staff, and, and we are all very happy with Lauren's progress there. Now, the situation for going back in late August, early September. Lauren is now to share her SNA with, Lauren's going into second year, she's to share her SNA with a first year student coming in. I know her mum is here this evening to support me. And her child needs her full time SNA for transition and for her own personal needs. Practically, any of you that knows a secondary school setting, this can't work on the ground. The children are in different classes, they have different uh, bodies at break time. It's just the practicalities don't work. This hasn't been thought out. On last Wednesday, I came here to Carrick and Shannon. I sat in a meeting with a Sino. I came out of that meeting 25, 30 minutes later, a broken person. Now, I don't want any person, any mother of a child with special needs to have to go through what I had to go through there. All, all the senos, their positions, this needs to be reviewed by Rory Quinn. <laughs> Siblings of children with autism have to share a tutor and now receive half the tuition they originally granted during the month of July. Too many of our children are falling between the cracks and the education and the health systems that are con continually failing to meet their needs. In the current crippling cutbacks, children with special needs grow up to be young adults living with a disability rather than children if given the proper support in education. Their disability be will be no longer leading them and they would have the skills to look at living independently in our communities. There is an uneasiness and pressure we are feeling around, pushing our mainstream children into special education. Putting them all together, we're going back instead of forwards. Back to the dark days in our country. And referring to that great article by Brendan O'Connor in the Sun Independent last week. Take them out from the special take them out for the special Olympics. Show them off and all their great skill and achievements. Special schools are also suffering under the SNA embargo. I ask our government to review their decisions. And you here present in such large numbers to continue to canvas our government to support us in our work. Never, never, and never shall it be in this beautiful country will again experience the, pressure, the oppression of one by another. Education is the most powerful weapon. It can change the world. <laughs>